At the close of this memorable day, I must speak to my people everywhere. Yet, how can I express what is in my heart? As I pass, <coughs> as I pass this morning through cheering multitudes to and from St. Paul's Cathedral, as I thought there of all that these 25 years have brought to me and to my country and my empire, how could I fail to be most deeply moved? Words cannot express my thoughts and feelings. I can only say to you, my very dear people, that the Queen and I thank you from the depth of our hearts for all the loyalty and, may I say, the love with which this day and always you have surrounded us. I dedicate myself anew to your service for the years that they still be given to me. I look back on the past with thankfulness to God. My people and I have come through great trials and difficulties together. They are not over. In the midst of this day's rejoicing, I grieve to think of the numbers of my people who are still without work. We owe to them, and not least to those who are suffering from any form of disablement, all the sympathy and help that we can give. I hope that during this Jubilee year, all who can will do their utmost to find them work and bring them hope. Other anxieties may be in store, but I am persuaded that with God's help, they may all be overcome if we meet them with confidence, courage, and unity. So, I look forward to the future with faith and hope. It is to the young that the future belongs. I trust that through the fund inaugurated by my dear son, the Prince of Wales, to commemorate this year, many of them throughout this country may be helped in body, mind, and character to become useful citizens. To the children, I would like to send a special message. Let me say this to each of them whom my words may reach. The King is speaking to you. I ask you to remember that in days to come you will be the citizens of a great empire. As you grow up Always keep this thought before you. And when the time comes, be ready and proud to give to your country the service of your work, your mind, and your heart. I have been greatly touched by all the greetings which have come to me today my dominions 
and colonies from India and from this home country. My heart goes out to all who may be listening to me now, wherever you may be, here at home, in town or village, or in some far off corner of the empire, or it may be on the high seas. Let me end my words to you with those which Queen Victoria used after her diamond jubilee 38 years ago. No words could more truly or simply express my own deep feeling now. From my heart, I thank my beloved people. May God bless them.